Hello guys, and today is a video response to Greg's Twitch TV gameplay of Unturned. It's a short gameplay video just showing off some of the stuff in Unturned, letting you see how it looks and everything. I really think the wheat field just looked out of this world. I have seen a lot of wheat fields actually. It's, it's just uh, kind of weird how I've seen so many in video games. But this has to be one of the best ones I've seen. Now, the game is sort of set in a way like Minecraft with all the blocky textures and everything. There's not that many curves into the game. It's not like as curvy as a, it probably could be. But thanks to that, the game is fairly low lag when I played it. <clears throat> I'm running this off a Windows 7 HP um, laptop. I don't know the current specs of it, but I play War Z Infestation Survivor Stories sometimes. I don't know why I said War Z, actually. I'm just used to calling it that because I played before its name changed. And I can be playing it mostly at about a steady 10 to 20 FPS. But if I gotta get near a town, that thing just drops down to like zero. <clears throat> I'm talking one of those big towns like Boulder City or Cambos. I can go like Clearview and Smallville and such and not lag much. But this is not a video about my computer. But I must say, in performance, I think it's done very well. Now, one thing I do wish Greg did would made it in downloadable, because personally I think downloadable PC games are a step above browser. But that's just mostly my opinion because of lag issues I've had with browser games over downloadable games. But I must say it looks great. There is a there is the attachment system where you can take off iron sights. I have never seen this in a video game before. I've played tons of FPS and survival games with guns. This is the first one I can say that I've seen that you can take off iron sights. I mean, why would you take off iron sights? Well, that's a good question. You could put them on a different gun, actually. So, like, let's take Dead Zone, for example. I've used pretty much every gun in uh, Dead Zone. Not, the, not uh, like, copies and such, but in uh, Greg's Dead Zone, I've used every single gun for multiple times with multiple kills on each gun and of the assault rifles the G36C's iron sights were my favorite and like they will find something that like iron sights I am so good with and they will take them off of a gun I'm bad with and put them on the gun I'm good with now that will just revolutionize my strategy I go from having to decide over a gun that does like, it's just horrible with very good iron sights over a gun that has very bad iron sights, but it's very good. If you've played Dead Zone Turn, you will learn very quickly that iron sights and optics are extremely important in combat. But I can go on for a long time about combat and how everything affects it. But there was some base building that was shown, it, he didn't make it, but it was already the building, and it looked amazing, actually. It looked like it, I would hope that base building would take some time, and wouldn't be like, I got three planks, and I've already got like this, I've already got like a building. As well, I think that um, resources should be more realistic. Now, in, in V1, you can only find um, resources like rocks, logs, planks, nails, oh, I mean bolts, in like certain areas. While in real life you can find rocks and logs and some other resources just scattered out in the wild. So I'm hoping there'll be like rocks and logs. Logs will be near trees and you can harvest resources like, say I'm playing a multiplayer server, but I don't want to risk going into town. I could probably live out in the wilderness and try to survive that way. 
being able to make guns, be able to find caves and mine resources is very, very good. Now, I know this is a bit like Minecraft, but I mean, if I was going to survive out in the wild in real life, I would definitely need to go try to find a mine or like a cave to mine in for like iron and coal and such. I don't know why that keeps popping up. But, um, <clears throat> that's why I would add. Go cut trees down for a house or something. I would need rocks, I know, for certain things. And I would definitely do that in real life. But mining should not be easy, and it should be very dangerous. There should be a real chance of n having an improper cave, and it can collapse in on you and kill you instantly. I like to have where the environment is a big threat. Other players are a big threat. But the number one threat that will probably be your guaranteed death would be you. That's how it would be in the real world. I want, in turn, to be where you are your own worst enemy. Where the decisions you make are going to get you killed and eventually... So you have to actually question yourself constantly whether your instincts are right or not. Now I know a video game can only go so far if a player is not wanting to immerse themselves in it. Okay, this just keep. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but my screen just went black. I don't think you saw that because, well, it doesn't matter. But I would like, like for um. People that do like to immerse themselves in games like this, including myself, to feel like there's a realistic chance that my instincts might be wrong. For there's a lot of people that just play like, oh, well, it's a video game. It doesn't matter if I live or die. For someone like me, I like to put myself into the game to where I'm thinking, this is me. Like, I don't want to die. Because if this is real, I obviously don't want to die. So I put myself into my character. And I would like for the real threat to my personal well-being to be in the game. <clears throat> As well, let me uh, put some talk about some more features before I keep going off topic like I am very, very good at. There is now one feature I've seen never in the game with guns and that's safety. I've seen fire modes before. It's in most, mostly all gun games. But in this game, this is the only game I've seen that has safety, just like with the removing iron sights. <clears throat> so you can set your gun to safety, you can set single, burst, automatic. Some guns will obviously have only certain fire modes, so don't be expecting to find a revolver that has full auto capability. I would also like to I would also be glad to see <clears throat> no more stupid attachments. You I bet you know what I'm talking about, like grenade launchers on uh a uh point twenty two handgun or a uh blackwater sniper scope on the M nine or G seventeen. And one thing I found that was very hyper unrealistic was auto fire on revolvers like if you had a full auto attachment it would be on your revolver like it'd be on every single gun so I'm hoping to see something like um, different types of attachments that like increase your fire rate for sacrificing bullet velocity so you shoot out fast you shoot more bullets in a shorter amount of time but they do less damage or you could, there'd probably be an attachment that makes your gun shoot slower, but at a higher velocity. Like, um, let's talk this in realistic spec. When you fire the gun... Actually, I'm going to have to do this in the second video, guys, because I'm running out of time. So, this will be in the next video where I explain this. So, the next video will be the um, fire rate attachments explanation.